Welcome to the Hypa channel. Today we have five chainsaws and a pole saw. We are going to remove and replace the chains on each one of these chainsaws. This should give you a good overview of the different types of systems that are used. They're all pretty much similar, but they all have some slight differences. So the four saws we have here are a Husqvarna 440, a Still MS180, a Pullen Pro 42cc, a Mac 3516, an old still 0009L and a Ryobi pole saw. Just a quick reminder that Hypa carries a full line of quality chainsaw chains for just about any saw with more added all the time, both professional and homeowner versions. So let's start with the Husqvarna 440. It's a pretty simple saw to take off and replace your chain. You only have one bolt that holds the chain on. Just remove that pull your side cover off and then you see we have a clutch on the outside of the chain this is pretty common on a lot of models pull your bar back and just pull your chain directly off the front at the nose and then pull back and pull it off pretty simple you can then just remove your bar now if you notice on these bars I'm going to show you each one of them uh, they will have the size so if you're ordering a chain from HypaChange you can consult this size that's a 72 link, 325, and it is an 18 inch bar. To put it back on, same as the reverse. Put it on the pulley, guide it over the top and over the front of the bar. You might have to turn the pulley on the front of the bar a couple times, the teeth, and then pull your bar forward. So you can see here on this saw, the tension adjustment is actually on the side of the cover. Very easy to get to just takes your chainsaw key to tighten up your chainsaw chain. Replace your cover. I'm not going to talk a lot about tensioning in this video because each manufacturer is going to have slightly different instructions on that but in general what I like to do is pull the chain down at the bottom and reveal the drive tooth and when you release it it should return up into the bar but always remember to follow your manufacturer's recommendations when tensioning. Put the nut back on and that's the Husqvarna. Next up we have the very popular homeowner saw. This is a Still MS180. This is a C model. All that means is it has a different type of pull. It has an easy pull as they call it. This one's very simple to take apart. You just take off the big knob release the tension with the thumb knob above it and then you can take the knob completely out and the cover off it all stays together as one piece on this particular still for whatever reason you're not able to remove the chain while the bar is still on the still has a slightly different tensioning mechanism to the Husqvarna in that it has a large wheel and worm gear mechanism it is also marked very well with the information you need when ordering your new chain reset the bar and as you see I'm just tensioning it here like I have already explained and making sure that it runs smoothly. Next up we have the Pullen Pro 42cc. Now this is sort of similar to the Still in that it has a large single nut. Dimensions of the bar are coded onto the, onto the bar and chain removal is the same as the first saw we looked at putting it back on is basically the same as well the adjustment on this is a thumb wheel on the cover but it does not have the large gear it just has the normal type of uh, moving adjustment lever put it back over and make sure that your adjustment lever is contacting in, into the holes in the bar and then you can just use the thumb wheel or finger wheel as it is here to tension it up and then again tighten up the main nut. Next up we have the little Ryobi pole saw. Now these are very simple based basically on the same mechanisms but very simple. To take off your cover you remove the central nut like a couple that we're going to see here in succession the adjustment is actually on the side. I'll show you that in just a minute. Removal of the chain is just like the first saw just like the Husqvarna take it off at the nose and pull it back. Very normal way to remove a chain. To reinstall it's basically the same in reverse. Put it on the pulley first and go over the front of the bar.
You see the adjustment nut here. It is on the cover itself. You just use a screwdriver to screw it in and out. These are sometimes not very handy because your screwdriver wants to hit your bar while you're trying to use it, but it's not that bad. Just move it in until it falls into the hole while holding the cover on and tighten your chain and then tighten your central nut back up. Next up we have the Mac 3516. This has a very traditional way of connecting the bar to the chainsaw. It has a double nut. But on this particular one you actually have to take two other screws out to take the side cover off to remove the chain, which is a little annoying. Also on this model you'll notice that when the side cover comes off that the safety bar is connected to the side cover and you will have to release it to get the side cover off because it, it also has the safety brake in the cover. Removal of the chain is the same as the Husqvarna except you have a little bit limited access in the back so you have to kind of manipulate the chain, move it to the side to pull it out. It has its adjustment on the saw itself. Again, installation is the same. Go over the front, go over the pulley, and then over the front. Make sure we're all lined up. And that's something I should mention. You, it is sometimes difficult to get everything lined up, but you want to kind of make sure everything is lined up before you start trying to adjust. Uh, sometimes you will find comments that people are having trouble adjusting their chains. This can be a common problem is that you are not in the track of the bar. Uh, it's easy to do it, especially at the bottom near where it connects to the chainsaw. It is, it can sometimes get bound up there and then it will not tension. Putting this back on, just put your cover back on and loosely put your nuts on and then you can use the adjuster. Again, a little inconvenient because it's right next to the bar. Once you get it set up, Tighten it up and you're done. Next up we have an old, this one is about 40 years old. This is a Still 009. Uses a common system for higher end stills of the, of the period. You have a single nut, not unlike the Husqvarna, comes off. This one also has the safety mechanism on the side cover, but you, the, hand, the whole handle doesn't come off. It just, just separates from the lever. Tension is just like the Mac was, which is on the side. And removal and replacement is the same as the Mac as well. And here you can see even the old bars, this, this is a 40 year old bar, has the information that you need on it. Installation is gonna be the same. I'm just doing it in a little bit different order here to show you that you don't have to always do it in the same order. You can put the chain on first and then put the bar on it doesn't really matter. The point is, is just get everything lined up. We'll put our nut back on, make our tension adjustment, and tighten it up. And that's all there is to it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Just wanted to do a simple video that showed how to install our new chains from Hypa. There's plenty of videos out there that show this, but uh, we thought, uh, you know, it might be interesting to show five different mechanisms in the same video, just because you never know what you're gonna run into when you're installing a new chain. Until next time, this is Eddie with HypaStore.com. Appreciate you watching.